Ladies and gentlemen, director of national, well, former director of national intelligence, John Radcliffe, was in the news the other day, yesterday, for confirming the authenticity of vice, uh, the, the president of the United States' son, his laptop. So the authenticity of Hunter Biden's laptop, which he left at a computer repair store that had incriminating emails, pay-to-play schemes, quid pro quo, that type of thing, you know, Types of stories that the Washington Post and the New York Times only cover if possibly, perhaps, Trump or his family engaged in those types of things. Although, there are no emails showing this. So, they never had emails, they never had a laptop. The laptop and the emails are always Madam Secretary, private servers, top secret intelligence. And I have always used, like, Comey's words, James Comey's um, June 2016 press conference where he stated there was top secret and special access program intelligence on servers outside of the United States government. Okay, you had 30,000 emails deleted. Why? Very likely, very likely, the Clinton Foundation um, had something to do with the deleted emails. Gee, doesn't take a rocket scientist or it doesn't take a uh, you know, Einstein to kind of put two and two together. It's not, this is the type of thing where if it were Trump that had private servers and 30,000 deleted emails, oh my God, could you imagine? Could you imagine the hysteria, the apoplectic reaction from all of media? And could you imagine if, if Eric Trump or Donald Trump Jr. left a laptop at a computer repair store while being... Um, while having substance and nar- uh, issues with narcotics, and all the the um, photos and obscene behavior documented within the laptop, they would have a field day. Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, John Oliver, Stephen Colbert, James Corden, Trevor Noah. Uh, Saturday Night Live, they wouldn't stop talking about it. Now you have Jimmy Kimmel just giving Hunter Biden the most, like, this is, it, it was pure po- propaganda. It's like they don't, they, they obsess over Trump, they can't find anything, so they've had his taxes for three years, uh, three, what, over a month now. They found nothing. But here, I'm going off on my usual tangents. I'm going to read you this because this very likely, very likely is part of the Durham probe already. I want to read you, Radcliffe says Durham agrees there was no intelligence showing Trump-Russia collusion. The fact that John Radcliffe was also in the news talking about Hunter Biden's email, the fact that he, or laptop, and the fact that he was saying while he was director of national intelligence, while the Durham probe was going on, that it wasn't an, ex- uh, an example of Russian uh, disinformation or, or sorry, Russian uh, co- uh, interference or the Kremlin's interference. It could have something to do with what Durham is looking at. Durham and Radcliffe and William Barr have all come to an agreement, according to this, wa- all came to an agreement, according to this Washington Examiner article, that media and very corrupt intelligence officials set up and frame Trump simply, simply to circumvent issues detrimental to the Democratic Party. I want to read you. Former, uh, so Hunter's laptop could be, in it, when they tried to, the link between the Durham probe special counsel, which is of the mandate that is broad and, and, um, it can encompass anything tangentially related, just like um, Manafort's ostrich skin jacket or whatever. They like, had nothing to do with what Trump was being accused of, but they still um, got him on something 10 years prior. Hunter Biden's laptop, because they essentially impeached Trump the first time, on having the audacity to do what the federal government's doing now, investigating Biden, uh, Hunter Biden, 
Hunter Biden's laptop, I think, is fair game for the Durham probe, especially since there are <laughs> there are so many issues within those emails. Everything from giving allegedly giving uh, Biden ten percent of the money of money earned from meetings that were brokered because of his family name. See, that is not nepotism. That is pay to play, or you're convincing or deceiving or leading people to believe that if you broker a deal, you'll get beneficial, preferential or beneficial treatment from the United States government. That's why you got an email saying, how can, we, how can you use your influence on behalf of the company? That's why he was on the board of directors. Again, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to put two and two, to get two, and two together. They're making these outlandish leaps of logic because of a dossier without any evidence at all. They focused more on a dossier than they did on the actual words of Hunter Biden's own son. But let's, let me read you this. Uh, former Director of National Intelligence John Ratcliffe, and this is an article from a while back, but it kind of ties everything in. Former uh, Director of National Intelligence John Ratcliffe said that he, former Attorney General William Barr, and now Special Counsel John Durham unanimously agreed that intelligence did not show Trump-Russia collusion and that the Crossfire Hurricane investigation was launched without proper justification. So, now the issue, I know that people say, oh, nothing's going to happen, nothing's going to happen. Hit subscribe to this channel right now because this is a, this is a really important topic that I'm going to discuss. And I, I'm one of the only people doing regular uh, videos on this because... There's so much of the Durham probe that relates to what's taking place now, especially with Hunter Biden, especially with the with the president's son. But here, because uh, the public relations spin, like the Jimmy Kimmel interview, trying to paint him as this addict that that has overcome all of his demons. I hope he has, like legitimate, like genuinely. I hope that he has overcome all his substance abuse issues because he's a risk to national security if he hasn't. Well, as a human being, I hope he's overcome all of his issues. But they're treating him now like he's this champion, this like person who's, you know, surpassed and overcome all these hurdles and obstacles. It's like, um, you don't know that three years ago he got into an argument with his girlfriend and his girlfriend threw his firearm into... Um, a dumpster. <laughs> you can't, this is according to Politico. You can't make this up. A dumpster outside of a <laughs> one block outside of a school, and the argument was involved. Invo invo the argument involved his various issues, issues that led him to um, leave a laptop at a computer repair store full of incriminating emails. But anyway, Radcliffe, former President Donald Trump's Director of National Intelligence, criticized the Crossfire Hurricane inquiry with an interview uh, with Maria Bartiromo contending the current Durham uh, criminal inquiry would, in would expose problems with it. I do expect that the Durham report, report will be another scathing recount. Okay, this is Radcliffe. Last summer, we went over the intelligence, and we all unanimously agreed that there was no intelligence from the intelligence community that reflected actual real Russian collusion with the Trump campaign. I told people this in, t in the end of 2016 when they were in nightmare, hysterical, meltdown mode. What See, President Trump's four years in office, he accomplished great things. There were missteps. But the endless meltdown, the hysterical, the apoplectic, the, oh my God, the, the instant visceral reaction, the negativity, the bullying from the left. They, they tried to say that he was demonizing people. Look at his speeches. Not just one campaign, not, not like he made one crude remark during the 2015 or 2016 campaign cycle. Look at the same remarks that Biden has made that he's forgiven. Look at what, the, what Biden stated even last year 
And they, they always they always tell Trump demonized people and demagoguery. You, you should look at what Biden, Biden's words, the past 20, 30 years, they, that should have canceled him out in terms of politics. Then, of course, he was accused uh, from, from a woman who, who filed a police report against him. And nobody called for his, his resignation. You're talking about hypocrites. The biggest hypocrites on the planet. And then they say, well, more people accuse Trump. Okay, but nobody, none of them filed a police report. Number one. Number two, this, cal- this Democratic Party liberal, morally superior liberal calculus uh, is just a fabricated view of life. You, you don't go, you don't live life saying, well, you know what? You, know, you, you ran over more people than that other person. You're a much better person. It's like, if you live by a certain set of principles, you should live by those principles. If you pontificate and judge and condemn, and you call for the resignation of others, then your side should, you, you should force resignations as well. But they don't. Al Franken resigned only because there was a, a photo of him pretending to, that implicated him pretending to do a really, um, you know, cr- crude and horrible thing. But anyway goes on, you can read this article, based on the evidence collected to date, and while our investigation is ongoing, uh, this is from Durham, last month we advised the Inspector General that we do not agree with some of the report's conclusions as to the predication of how the FBI case was opened. So, they're going to find out, like, Durham already has found out enough information, according to Radcliffe, for him to say, yeah, they, there was no intelligence, they shouldn't even have investigated President Trump. Now, now, all he has to do is find laws that were broken. It's not difficult. Kleinsmith was already indicted. Okay? But you have to find... You, you, can, you can actually find laws broken, or you possibly could, in the cover-up of Hunter Biden's laptop. Because you have people within uh, former, intelligence, former intelligence officials lying about the authenticity of the laptop, possibly committing crimes doing so. So it's like the web of deceit, it, it's never ending. So Durham can it, Durham is not limited to any potential crimes. You know, he, he, can, he's, he can look at the, the Hunter Biden laptop cover-up and see if any crimes were committed. He can look at a, a potential uh, statutes legal statutes broken in 2015, 2016, uh, and all throughout President Trump's tenure. He should never have been investigated. It's like people, if you don't like Trump, that's, not, that's one thing. But you, sh- you, you can't set up and frame somebody, okay? And then the, the left is like, Democrats are like, oh, you want to defund law enforcement. And they just, <laughs> they want to defund law enforcement, but at the same time revere intelligence operatives who've been wrong on everything since from the Bay of Pigs to the Gulf of Tonkin, WMD. So anyway, really quickly, I did a video. I think everyone should check out. It's my viewpoint on George Floyd. I think he was murdered. And I explained my vantage point, what I believe. Um, and, you know, my thought process. And it's something that I wanted to get out there. And that's two videos prior to this one. So check that one out. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right